Mariners and Guardians tied in extras. One sweeping slider. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Another sweeping slider, strike two. And a third one, strike three. Just sweeping slider after sweeping slider. But they intentionally walk Jose Ramirez, who bats from the left side. And now a lefty's up. And the sweeping sliders aren't working as well. There's a little fastball, another fastball, and it's ball four. Bases are loaded, and the lefty's coming up, and they say, yeah, we'll take the righty out. We'll bring the lefty in. We need an out here. Jams them with the fastball. They're going to try and go back to that. Gets it again out at home, and double play. No. Go ahead, run. Scores from third on that play. Everyone moves up. These fans are distraught like, oh, my God, we've had too many of these already in the season. So they get the out at home, and then this is interesting because the catcher, he said, I thought he was in the baseline. And as you can see, he is. Like, the baseline is stupid, and I've made a lot of videos on that, but he is right there. But the thing about it is the throw didn't hit him. So, oh, no, not again. This sucks. Whoo, boy. So, yeah. Basically, if if the catcher throws this at the runner, which sometimes they are taught to do, he's clearly throwing it around the runner. And if the first baseman was a lefty and the glove was on his right hand, maybe this is a much easier play. But if he throws the ball at the runner here, it's going to get called for interference because he's out of the baseline and he interfered. But the fact he didn't throw the ball at the runner and hit him it doesn't get called, and the run scored. We're one of the weirder, dumber quirks in in the interference down the baseline. You have to actually interfere. You can't just be doing it and, and never get in the way. So it's actually smarter for the catcher to throw it, kind of bounce it at his feet if you really trust the umpires and think you're going to get it, but that's not a game you want to play either. Anyway, they get out of this inning. There's a nice little slider from the lefty. Another nice little slider. Did he go? Did he go? Yes, he went. One, two, and a third one. And he gets him. This at bat between Trevor Steven and ah, Eugenio Suarez is actually the whole reason I kind of wanted to do this breakdown. The play earlier is interesting. But Steven's a reliever that's got three-plus pitches. And he throws them pretty equally to righties. Here's the fastball. Boom, top of the zone, fastball, strike one. So now, off of that, he's going to try and throw his breaking pitches, his off-speed pitches to change it up a little. He goes with a slider here. I believe he misses his spot. Ends up being kind of a front-door slider, but I don't think that was his intention. They're going to go back to the slider, and the batter thinks about it, but doesn't go. Here's that pitch again. It's got the movement, thinks about it, doesn't go. So what do they do? Well, they go slider again. They go, let's get him. Put it a little more outside. Let's get him. And they got him. So now it's two and two. You've went fastball, slider, slider, slider. What do you throw here? That's his split changeup. So that's his third pitch. And I took note that Suarez didn't really blink. He just kind of gave up on it. Never really was like, that's a pitch I'm going to think about. It had the had nice bite, had nice movement. But maybe if you're Steven, you scrap that and you say, all right, that's not fooling him. Let's take that out of the repertoire. Goes back to the slider, and it's smoked down the line, and the fans get excited, but it's a foul ball, and this guy catches it, and he's like, oh, should I give it to the girl? And the guy says, yes, definitely give it to the girl, and she says, uh, oh, I'm so little, I don't even care. 3-2. Now he's seen fastball, slider, 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 changeup, slider. 3-2, you want to throw a strike. You don't want to throw a a wild pitch or a pass ball because the runner on third can score. The runner moved the third in the middle of those pitches. So you go fastball again. Not the spot the catcher wanted him to throw it, but up and in and a nice pitch, and he gets a foul ball. And now you got to play something off of that. And I thought he was going to go slider again because he's thrown four already. Instead, he goes split finger change up and gets a swing and a miss. And Suarez didn't even blink at that pitch the first time through. So I thought it was a ballsy 3-2 pitch. Because you're throwing this for a ball, and it just tumbles down and away and gets the strikeout. Look at the fastball, slider, split finger combo here. Crazy. Super fun. Super cool. And he used all three of them nicely in that at-bat to keep them off balance, keep them swinging and missing. 
It was nice. And then the last at bat of the game, you got Cal Riley out catcher and he's just going one pitch i'll go back to the beginning he just does one pitch this entire at bat inside fastball inside fastball inside fastball oh and two inside fastball one and two inside fastball jams him game over so in one at bat to the righty he goes through the whole repertoire of pitches then the lefty comes up and he just goes i'll just throw my inside fastball and get you out and he does. And this video was brought to you by DraftKings. And I thank DraftKings for sponsoring the video. I appreciate them very much. Thank you guys for watching. Look at that beautiful color show. I love baseball. Subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Thanks.